Good evening. I am Carolyn Lucia, the head of school of Fairmont Preparatory Academy. Along with our Dean of Academics, Dr. Colette O'Bannon, and Mr. Barry Drake, the Dean of Students, it is my privilege to welcome you to the 2021 award ceremony. For the second year, this award ceremony is being held virtually. However, the celebration of these students' achievements is in no way diminished. Today, we recognize their countless hours of dedication, determination, and their outstanding achievements. All of our students are to be celebrated for their continued pursuits of excellence, even though COVID restrictions persisted far longer than any of us ever anticipated. The level of engagement in both Zoom and in-person classrooms was impressive to witness and the creative ways students have found to, be, to collaborate and to connect with each other is truly to be commended. These have been unusual times to be sure, but prep students have risen to the occasion. Before we begin the ceremony tonight, let us join next year's ASB president, Vivian Lee, for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Hello, I'm Dr. Arnold, and I'm here to introduce the Science Awards for 2020-2021. Uh, for CP Biology, we have Giselle Mercado. For Honors Biology, we have Kieran Bashan. AP Biology, Vivian Tien. CP Biology, IFY, Victoria Shea. CP Chemistry, Ta Sang Sam. Honors Chemistry, we have two winners for that. Lindsay Yao and Lauren Ko. AP Chemistry, Alessandro D'Amico. CP Anatomy and Physiology, Michaela Glynn. AP Physics, C. Electricity and Magnetism, Guy, Ethan, Hu, and CP Environmental Science, Christopher Folayan. IB Biology, HL2, Caitlin Ong. IB Environmental Systems, Amethyst Audit. CP Physics, Jun Peng Simon Zhang, AP Physics 1. J. Pei, Patrick Liao. Introduction to Robotics, Yin Lin Robert Feng. And AP Physics C Mechanics, Lam Bao, Luke Le. I am going to introduce our ninth grade science student of the year. This student has been zooming into CP Biology from Russia. And despite the distance learning, she goes above and beyond on class projects and assignments. In fact, on one assignment, she had to check the markets for glucose syrup so she could compare the rates of yeast fer fermentation with sugar, glucose, and honey. She couldn't find any, so she made her own. She consistently is on the top five in the Kahoot scoreboard, and all of her presentation videos look like that they were done by social media influencers. Her consistently amazing work ethic, combined with her creativity, and passion make her an outstanding student. The ninth grade student of the year is Daria Kosyanenko. Congratulations. It is my pleasure to introduce the 10th grade science department student of the year. This student is a quiet student who exudes, who exudes a quiet confidence. She strives not to just know the subject material for a test, but she wants a deeper understanding of the subject. She is consistently asking questions and will not quit until she is satisfied that she understands the material. Mrs. Leslie said that she epitomizes the science department theme of own your own learning. She goes above and beyond what is expected. Her videos are engaging and fun to watch. They show a side of Natalie that you don't see every day. It is my privilege to introduce the 10th grade Science Department Student of the Year, Natalie Kim. Congratulations. And it is my honor to present our Junior Science Award winner for this year. The award winner is Vivian Tian. Um, I have had Vivian for three years in Honors Chemistry, AP Chemistry, and Organic Chemistry. 
and she's always been an outstanding student. In fact, she will be the first student in the 10 years I taught organic chemistry to receive an A plus in my class. When I asked Mrs. Leslie to give me some comments about uh, Vivian, her comment was, really? Do I need to tell you how amazing she is? And Mr. Saris, from the first day I met Vivian, it was clear she was a confident student, always present in the moment and ready to excel in everything that she did. A large part of my class is resubmitting homework to fix mistakes. While Vivian always develops a well thought out code, I write very exacting auto grading programs and Vivian never misses an opportunity to perfect her scores. She asks great questions and gets helps with her code, maximizing the use of class time. And she is always an assignment ahead of the rest of the class. She is always up for a challenge, pursuing extra credit opportunities and going further with the material because she enjoys it. Our Junior Science Department uh, Student of the Year is again, again Vivian Tian. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mrs. Rabbi, English Department Chair, and I'm honored to announce the English Department Student of the Year Awards. Strategies for Success, Clark Harris. English One, Yan Han Liu. Writing Seminar One, Christina Xie. CP English One, Luis Cisneros. Honors English One, Alex Wheeler. English Two and Writing Seminar Two, Yu Zhen Xie. CP English 2, Daria Kosyanenko. It honors English 2, Amar Masroor Siddiqui. English 3, Simon Zhang. Writing Seminar 3, Yo-Yo Lai. CP English 3, Star Sarod. AP English Language and Composition, Vivian Tian. AP English Literature, Ryan Gumlia. IB English HL1, Jordan Simon. English 4, Kwok Tin Nguyen. Writing Seminar 4, Robert Yin Lin Fang. IB English HL2, Olga Harrison. CP English 4, Tony Lee. The English Department's 9th grade Student of the Year Award goes to Roma Kapoor. Roma is courteous, motivated, and hardworking. She's always the first to participate in class and has a positive attitude that lights up the classroom. Thanks, Roma, for all your hard work and dedication. The English Department's 10th grade Student of the Year Award goes to Keat Quinn. Keat dives into our literature, bringing bright and brave analyses to class discussion and crafting inspiring, meaningful writing across the genres. She shines with a steadfast mix of talent and grit. Thank you, Keith, for being a joy to teach and setting the bar for your classmates, and congratulations. The English Department's 11th grade Student of the Year Award goes to Vivian Tien. Whether leading discussions in class, analyzing the nuances of rhetorical choices in her writing, or presenting a TED Talk on the impact of demographics and cultural practices on cancer survival, Vivian rises to the top. She engages with the literature, contributes fresh insights, works diligently, and brings positive energy to the classroom. Congratulations, Vivian. Hello, I'm Mrs. Leslie, and today it's my honor to present Student of the Year for students in computer science and advanced science and engineering courses. For computer science courses, AP Computer Science A, Vivian Tian. AP Computer Science Principal, Allison Chen. Advanced Coding Languages, Jack DeBruyne. IB Computer Science HL, Yan Ching Aldrin Chen. For ASEP core courses, Methodologies in Science and Engineering, Kion Manesh. For Bioengineering, John Lawrence Boyer. Engineering 102, Hung Nguyen. As Director of the Advanced Science and Engineering Program, it's my honor to present Student of the Year for grades 9, 10, 11 ASEP students. ASEP students are involved in a variety of extracurricular and academic pursuits. Each one of the students receiving an award today has distinguished themselves both in the classroom and outside of the classroom. For ninth grade, student of the year, ASEP is Camilla Ramos. 10th grade, ASEP student of the year is Ethan Liu. 11th grade, ASEP students of the year is awarded jointly to Michelle Chang and Ethan Ednani. 
Hi, my name is Mrs. Peretta, and I'm happy to present to you today the 2021 Social Science Department Class Awards. And here are the winners. Geography, IFY, Gladys Wong. CP Geography, Serena Luna. AP Human Geography, Camilla Ramos. CP World History, Aiden Arias. AP World History, John Lawrence Boyer. CP U.S. History, Tan Bui. AP U.S. History, Vivian Tian. IB History of the Americas, one, Jiyun Scott Yoon. IB Theory of Knowledge, one, Jiyun Scott Yoon. CP Government, Ivan Domiak. CP Economics, Tony Lee. AP Government and Politics, Lily Liu and Frank Nguyen. AP Economics, Kayla Nong. IB History of Americas 2, Natalie Bowie. IB Theory of Knowledge 2, Nicholas McHale. CP Global Issues, Yaya Hassan. AP Psychology, Rohan Gupta. IB Psychology, Natalie Bowie. IB Philosophy, Sophia Lander. I'm now going to present the award for our Freshman Student of the Year Award. This award goes to Roma Kapoor, who was nominated for Mr. Lopez. Mr. Lopez says Roma is a fantastic student. She's receiving this award for her unwavering dedication to learning. She's a sponge for every subject, actively seeking to understand at a deeper level. As a freshman, she's performing at an admirable level. She deserves this award not only for the quality of her completed work, but for the mindset in which she prepares herself for the future. Roma has a well-rounded foundation of skills that will translate into success at whatever she sets her mind to. Mr. Lopez is constantly impressed by Roma's critical thinking and argumentation that she applies to stimulating class discussions. She is embodiment, embodiment of above and beyond in all she does, in addition to being a thoughtful and respectful young lady. Mr. Lopez is excited for all the teachers yet to have her in class because they are in for a treat. Congratulations to Roma Kapoor, the freshman class social science student of the year. Mr. Lopez says, you crushed it. Mrs. Montenegro enthusiastically nominated our Social Science Sophomore of the Year Award winner, Rohan Gupta. Mrs. Montenegro related the following to me. Rohan is a remote student, but it feels like he is on campus. He is always attentive and he participates more than any other student. It is a joy to see his reactions and laughter during class, even though he is muted. He takes information from the class and thinks about it on a deeper level, combining it with information from other classes. Rohan is an excellent example of a successful student in the social sciences. He is curious, thoughtful, and he asks questions that are helpful for the whole class. Congratulations, our Social Science Sophomore of the Year Award winner, Rohan Gupta. I'm now going to present our Junior Class Award winner. Uh, so funny story, the next recipient recently asked me why I did not choose him as my AP U.S. History Student of the Month. Well, Kyle Lowry, it is because Mr. Lopez nominated you as our student of the year. Mr. Lopez submitted the following to me and I wholeheartedly agree with him. Kyle is an outstanding student with impeccable attention to detail. He is deserving of this award, not only because of the high quality of his work that is standard, but because of his true passion and understanding of history. It is a joy to teach Kyle as a junior and to see how far he has come from his freshman year. Kyle is firm in his resolve, unwavering at times, but he elevates the class as a whole. His intense dissection of class material has allowed other students to grow in their critical thinking. I appreciate his sense of humor and thank him for his constant respectfulness. From a teacher's point of view, he inspires us to be on top of our game. I think I speak for many that have taught Kyle in saying that we look forward to big things in his future and know he can handle whatever is thrown at him. Congratulations to Kyle Lowry, the 2021 Junior Class Social Science Student of the Year. You earned it. My name is Mark Hassoun. I am the math department chair, and I'm here to announce the department winners for the year. Algebra 1, Wilson Wright. CP Geometry, Christina Shi. Honors Geometry, Serena Luna. Algebra 2 Tricks, CP, Daria Kosinanko. Algebra 2 Trick Honors, Jason Wang. Algebra 2 Trick Honors with P. Kaufels, Ally Kim. IB Math Studies SL and HL, Errol Kakuchi. AP Calculus AB, Claire Xu. AP Calculus BC, Luke Lee. 
AP Statistics, Janice Gwen, CP Statistics, Cordelia Loyo, and Ali So. Advanced Discrete Math and Number Theory, Ryan Jumila, CP Precalculus, Thomas Karpitian, Multivariable Calculus, Elizabeth Fong, and Varun Bensal. Differential Equations and Linear Algebra. Kendrick and Wen, Pre-Calculus Honors. Ian Tan Bowie, CP Calculus, Jacob Zen, and Abstract Algebra, Muxi Lin. At this time, I'd like to present the Math Department Award by grade level, 9th, 10th, and 11th grades. All three students are in Mr. Hand classes. The ninth grade award goes to Kabir al Kahir. Mr. Hand said that Kabir was determined to start high school in AP Calculus BC. He studied and worked hard all summer long, doing Algebra 2 and P Calculus. Not only he was able to get into AP Calculus BC, but he has one of the highest grades in the class. Good job, Kabir. The 10th grade award goes to Kiet Lam Nguyen, who is also in AP Calculus BC. Mr. Hang said Kiet is an excellent student. She consistently earns the highest grades on tests and quizzes. In addition, she has a wonderful personality, kind and respectful. The 11th grade award goes to Vivian Chen in Mr. Han's Differential Equation and Linear Algebra class. Vivian is the top student in the class due to her consistent hard work and advanced critical thinking skills. Vivian also is a kind, caring person with a great sense of humor. I like that. Congratulations, Vivian, and all the winners. Thank you. Hi Huskies, I am Coach Lexi, your physical education teacher, and I get the privilege to recognize the 2020-2021 Physical Education Student of the Year Award. Female Physical Education Student of the Year Award goes to Yo-Yo Fly. Male Student of the Year Award, John Franson. I'm happy to recognize the 2020-2021 Underclassman Female Athlete of the Year Award. This outstanding female has been a true example over her many years at Fairmont. She balances her school work with her athletics at the prep, as well as her club volleyball team. She actively takes initiative to build on her skills as a leader. We are proud of her hard work as a Husky thus far and look forward to another great year. This year's 2020-2021 Underclassman Female Athlete of the Year Award goes to Amethyst Auden. Hello Huskies, my name is BJ Rosary and I'm one of your athletic directors here at Fairmont Preparatory Academy. I have the honor of supporting our athletic department alongside Athletic Director Alexis Price. I am honored to present to you the 2021 Underclassman Male Athlete of the Year recipient for the athletic department. This sophomore is exceptional both on and off the court. Our boys volleyball and boys soccer have had the fortune and privilege to be led by this student athlete during this wild school year. On behalf of the athletic department, it is our honor to present Aiden Choi, 2021 Underclassman Male Athlete of the Year Award. Aiden is part of the school's ASEP program and is the Vice President of the Yearbook Club. Aiden, congratulations. Fairmont's lucky to have you. Hi, my name is Sarah Brown and I'm the International Business Program Director and these are the award winners for Student of the Year for our department. For Introduction to Business, Sasha Cohen. For Business Marketing, Kieran Bassine and Courtney Bui. For Business Finance, Hayden Tran. For IB Business and Management, HL1, Aria Marhawa. For IB Business and Management, HL2, Jennifer Cresset. For Capstone, Lily Liu and Alexandria Kim. Now I'm going to introduce the ninth grade student of the year award for our department. Mr. Lopez says, 
She is a wonderful student who is consistently a hard worker. She attends classes remotely and goes above and beyond with communication. Ka Ian is deserving of this award for the time, effort, and thoughtfulness she puts into her work. She has a great mind for business and is a strong addition to our business program as a whole. Congratulations, Ka Ian Sam. Now I'm going to introduce the 10th grade Student of the Year Award for our department. It is an honor to present this award to such a promising student, Aiden Ahmed. Aiden has shown to be respectful, considerate, responsible, and focused on a daily basis. I have truly been inspired by his eagerness to learn beyond what is required, but I have also been impressed with how he engages with others. This year, Aiden and a group of his peers in the marketing class were accepted in to participate at the Concordia University Irvine Business Plan Competition. This competition featured a division composed of high school teams from the Orange County area. Aiden led his team to compete among the best business students in Orange County while executing a business plan and delivering an oral presentation of his idea to a group of investors in a Shark Tank style setting. Additionally, Aiden has been accepted into the Wharton Global Youth Program this summer, along with attending Brown University's Summer Economics Program. I look forward to watching Aiden's growth over the next two years. The Sophomore Class International Business Program of the Year Award goes to Aiden. Congratulations. Now I am going to introduce the 11th grade Student of the Year Award for our department. It is with great pleasure that I present this award to a student who consistently shows high academic performance in her work and is thought of very highly by her peers in the Fairmont community. Vivian passionately contributes to classroom discussions without hesitation, is always willing to take the leadership role with a humble attitude, and consistently seeks to expand her learning outside of the classroom. Vivian was accepted into an exclusive after-school program called Females for Finance. Females for Finance is ran by current students at Yale and is a fully subsidized online program for high-achieving high school girls across the world to develop financial literacy, gain experience with money management, and investing. Vivian will also be taking on a leadership role as the ASB president next year. Vivian pursues all of her endeavors with vigor, and I am so proud of her. The Junior Class International Business Program Student of the Year Award goes to Vivian Lee. Hello, my name is Mr. Nick Ochoa. I am the Visual and Performing Arts Department Chair. Here are the uh, Student of the Year Award winners for this year. Chamber Ensemble, Misty Twyman. Concert Choir, Lu Min Tu, Layla Nguyen. Advanced Concert Choir, Sydney Tanner. Fundamentals of Theater, Isabella Bruinslot. Technical Theater, Miley Oshida. General Art, Hu Yoyo Yao Lai. Digital Art, Tuan Kian Kenny No. Intermediate Art, Zi Ying Huang and Yan Wen Liu. Fashion Design 1, Iman Mustafa. Fashion Design 2, Lam Tui Sarah Liu. APU Studio Art 2D Design, Yuet Pei Liu. AP Studio Art 3D Design, Jialin Elena Zhang. AP Studio Art Drawing, Jiayi Qin. IB Visual Art SL, Michelle Wu. IB Visual Art HL, Hoda Mustafa. Yearbook 2, Advanced Media Leadership, Christine Huang. Introduction to Film, Morgan Levine. Beginning Digital Multimedia, Alex Wheeler. Advanced Digital Multimedia, Olga Harrison. IB Film SL HL1, Myra McCants. IB Film HL2, Alora Lindsay. Congratulations to all the winners. This year's ninth grade student of the year was chosen by Mrs. Song, who has this to say about him. This student is a hardworking young musician who strives to be the best version of himself. He auditioned and participated in this year's Southern California School Band and Orchestra Association's honor groups, competing with a massive number of musicians all around Southern California. He has represented Fairmont Prep well and has made all of us proud. Congratulations to Yuan Park for receiving the 9th grade BAPA award. Our 10th grade student of the year was chosen by our visual arts teachers, Mrs. Sudak and Mrs. Carrier. Mrs. Sudak says that this student has a true passion for art and she is constantly impressed at the thoughtful work that she has done. 
both in her beginning art class last year, as well as in the work she does on her own at home and in the Art Honor Society. She appreciates her enthusiasm for National Art Honor Society projects and her leadership as treasurer this year. Mrs. Carrier says that she is an innovative, award-winning artist and wonderful person who has contributed to the PrEP and the VAPA program in a positive way. As a student in AP Art this year, she has given 100% and created a beautiful and personally expressive body of work that is visually and artistically stunning. She is truly a pleasure to teach and an inspiring artist. We are looking forward to seeing Samira Marinfar continue to express herself through the arts as well as make a difference and inspire everyone here at Fairmont. Our 11th grade student of the year was also chosen by our visual arts teachers. Mrs. Carrier says that this student is an amazing artist with a vibrant and enthusiastic personality. Her work is always beautifully rendered and expressive, revealing a strong sense of composition and emotional sensitivity. She has distinguished herself by submitting exceptional works of art and being an outstanding representative of our program. Ms. Sudak adds that she has really enjoyed working with her for the past three years in art classes and National Art Honor Society and her leadership and officer roles. In addition to her great work, she is also a caring, kind, and fun person, always bringing joy and welcoming others and helping people. A true delight to be around. Congratulations to Chuk Fong Ellen Vu for the 11th grade student of the year for the Visual Performing Arts Department. My name is Ying Li, the World Languages Department Chair. These are the winners for the student of the year in our department. Spanish 1, Pavit Singh. Spanish 2, Dan Bui. Spanish 3 CP, Jong Ha Kim. Spanish 3 Honors, Michelle Wu. AP Spanish, RP Kapuria. IB Spanish SL, Jordan Simon. Mandarin 1 CP, Jane Song. Mandarin 2 CP, Daniel Shin. Mandarin 3 Honors, Ethan Idani. IB Mandarin SL, James Ye. AP Chinese, Yu Zhou Lai. It is my great pleasure to share with you the joy and achievements of our outstanding talents in World Languages Department. Ninth grade award winner was recommended by Ms. Cooper. I'm honored to have Daniel LaPang as my student this year. His motivation and ambition have been evident since the first day of class. Daniel constantly participates and his inquisitive nature about Spanish language makes teaching even more enjoyable. His assignments are absolutely flawless and his work ethic is unyielding. Daniel's positive attitude and intelligence for mastering Spanish make him the ideal recipient of the award. Congratulations, Daniel LePank. The 10th grade winner was nominated by Ms. Cooper too. His work exemplifies the knowledge and skills that are necessary for an honors level class. He goes above and beyond on his assignments and sets the example for his peers. Not only is he hardworking, he demonstrates the qualities of a lifelong learner through self-reflection, always willing to improve both academically and personally. As my third year student, he has gained more confidence speaking the language which is evident in our class discussions and I'm proud to have seen his development in Spanish language over the past three years. Congratulations, Luke Park. The 11th grade winner was nominated by Ms. Silvestra. She is an outstanding student who has demonstrated high achievement by maintaining academic excellence, demonstrating genuine interest and active participation in all topics related to the target language and culture. She has set personal goals to become bilingual in Spanish while accomplishing a good understanding of the Hispanic culture with an inquisitive and a positive attitude towards learning. She is awarded the most outstanding student of the sophomore year for taking responsibility for her learning, showing pride of her ability to speak and understand the Spanish language, and her continuing effort to achieve her own maximum potential, which is further evidence of her sustained academic excellence. Congratulations, Vivian Ting. This year's IFC Student of the Year goes to Yichun Gladys Wong. We all see how extremely well Gladys is doing this year. She's hardworking, 
proactive and has a passion for learning. If there's something she wants, there's nothing stopping her from understanding it and coming up with a plan to achieve her goal. Mrs. Lee says that Gladys is always the first one who completes her assignment. She's open to feedback and is willing to apply them to her work. She has shown tremendous improvements since they've met. Mr. Han says that he really enjoys having Gladys in his class. Gladys has a great attitude and does great work. She's the top student in his class as well. Congratulations, Gladys, for all you have achieved this year. Hi, this is Mr. Rusk. I'm Director of Debate here at the Prep. I'm excited to present our department awards this year to individuals that weren't just excellent debaters and performing at the highest level, but also folks who contributed to I think, the ethos of the team and the morale and that we just don't want to create you know, excellent championship winning debaters, but uh, good people as well. So let's move on to our first awards, which are our ninth grade uh, debate awards. We broke the rules a little bit here to recognize two individuals that were equally deserving. Uh, the first one is Ara Nefron, and the second is Kian Manesh. So I'd like to congratulate both of you. You know, uh, you not only performed exceedingly well, you know, you went to every single tournament that you possibly could have. You were the first uh, freshman team to break in varsity at uh, the Stanford Invitational, one of the most difficult competitions in the country, as well as picked up a couple tournament championships along the way. And I'm so excited to spend the next three years with y'all uh, to see where y'all are going to go. And um, we're really proud of all the hard work that you put into it. Uh, and you're two very deserving of this award. The second uh, competitor that I want to recognize is our sophomore uh, debate award, which goes to Rohan Gupta. Rohan is a, a, a amazing debater in terms of the way he thinks about rounds, almost like a chess player. He thinks uh, about the strategy, he puts in the hard work, he does the research, uh, and again, competitively, he had an incredibly great year. Uh, he won one of the, the largest regional tournaments at Peninsula this year, as well as uh, was the, our first sophomore sophomore team to actually qualify to the Tournament of Champions. And we're really proud of all the hard work that he put in, and he'll be one of our junior captains uh, next year. The final award that I want to recognize is for a junior who this is his third year in a row uh, winning this award, and it goes out to Ryan Dunbar. For those of you that have not met Ryan, uh, he has sharp wit. He always has the, the first response and the most nuanced response to whatever query or question that you may have. And Ryan is one of the best debaters in the country. He was ranked first as a freshman throughout the country. He's ranked second in California right now. Uh, throughout the year, he has done incredible uh, work winning fifth speaker at Stanford, uh, breaking at the TOC for a second year in a row, which is a record. Uh, and Ryan is one of the best debaters in the country by far, uh, and is very, very, very deserving. And, and uh, he is critical to this team. Uh, this team wouldn't be uh, what it is without Ryan coming uh, And uh, we can't imagine it without him. We really appreciate this, and I'm excited um, to, to see what he does in his team. So thank you all to all the debaters this year and for helping us uh, rank first in the state uh, of California. And we look forward to uh, having another incredible year next year. Thank you so much for your hard work. Hello, I am Mrs. Song, 10th grade ASB advisor. I'll be presenting class awards for 9th grade and 10th grade this year. For the 9th grade, ASB class award goes to Clark Harris. Clark is receiving this award because he brings a light to all our ninth grade lunch meetings. He took an extra responsibility this year without complaining. He works hard and is humble and kind. We're really looking forward to seeing him shine in ASB next year as well. Congratulations, Clark, for the ninth grade ASB award. When I googled the word leadership, a list of characteristics and qualities showed up. If I list some of the words, it goes something like this. Integrity ability to delegate, communication, self-awareness, gratitude, empathy, courage, and respect. I firmly believe Ibrahim is that one person that has most of these characters in him. Serving as a vice president for the last two years, he has proved to all of us how great of a leader he is. I'm excited to give the 10th grade ASB award to Ibrahim Jawadi. Congratulations. Hello, I'm Justin Voss, the Junior Class Advisor, and I'm here to present the Junior Class Award. Typically in ASB, we meet each week in person to plan events and discuss ways in which we can enhance the student experience. Not surprisingly, we were not able to do that this year, but there were still students who went above and beyond. This year's winner of the Junior Class Award is Chandra Lee, who throughout this year has brought energy, enthusiasm, and big ideas to each and every meeting we have had. 
It's not easy joining ASB in the middle of a pandemic and to learn the culture, but Chandra has stepped up and been a leader while encouraging others to follow her example. She is willing and capable of jumping into any leadership role that is needed at the time. I know that had we been able to do more, that Chandra would have volunteered to do as much as possible to make the social experience enjoyable for all students. I've appreciated her ability to recognize what needs to be accomplished and the way she has involved the entire junior class. I'm excited that she will be continuing on in ASP next year, as I know she will help return us to a sense of normalcy when we return to campus. Congratulations to Chandra Lee. Hello, I am Dr. Vaughn, and I'm the Science Department Chair here at Fairmont Preparatory Academy. And I am going to introduce our ninth and 10th grade Academic Decathlon Student of the Year. Uh, this student is, has been in decathlon for two years and she has grown as a competitor. She has won many medals and exhibited team leadership by giving, pre giving presentations and encouraging others to do their best. So far, she has participated in four different academic decathlon competitions. This student has shown such growth and team spirit along with great and outstanding leadership skills that she will be the decathlon team captain next year. It is my pleasure to introduce our ninth and 10th grade decathlete of the year, Paula Pietrzkowski. Congratulations. Hi, I'm Mr. Wheeler and I'm pleased to announce this year's International Baccalaureate Diploma Program Junior Student of the Year. When a student decides to undertake the International Baccalaureate Diploma Program, he or she is demonstrating a commitment to not only a rigorous course of study, but a commitment to global awareness, international mindedness, and humanity. The goal of an IB education is to become a better human being. Now, the International Baccalaureate Organization and we as a faculty believe that an IB education can help individuals and groups become responsible members of local, national, and global communities. It is always interesting to see how students will adapt to IB learning environment. Some students take to it right away, for others it's a bit of a learning curve. Uh, this year's student of the year definitely represents the former. Uh, the students, this student checks a lot of the boxes on the IB learner profile. Uh, knowledgeable, thinker, open-minded, caring. Uh, one of the traits that many prep students struggle with is something that this student seems to have mastered, balance. Uh, the student is able to balance a wide variety of interests and activities while completing the IB diploma. The student has a stellar work ethic, is personable, engaged, and is a strong representation of Fairmont Prep to the IB. Uh, IB Junior Student of the Year uh, for this school year is Jordan Simon. Hello students and families. My name is Bree Haas and I am the AP Coordinator. It's my pleasure to introduce to you the Underclassmen AP Scholar Awards. The AP Scholar Awards are academic distinction given to high school students who have demonstrated college level achievement through AP courses and exams. The following awards are based on exams taken prior to May 2021 testing period. The AP Scholar Award is granted to students who receive scores of three or higher on three or more AP exams. Amethyst Auden, Jiawei Peng, and Sydney Tanner. The AP Scholar with Honor is granted to students who receive an average score of at least 3.25 on all AP exams taken and scores of three or higher on four or more of these exams. James Aho, Hannah Lee, Zen Xu Liu, Kyle Lowry, Jack Liu, Aria Marwaha, and Jordan Simon. The AP Scholar with Distinction Award is granted to students who receive an average score of at least 3.5 on all exams taken and scores of three or higher on five or more of these exams. Michelle Chang, Anfu Dong, Ryan Gumlia, Ethan Idnani, Chun Yu Katie Lam, Zi Pei Liao, Derek Nguyen, Kendrick Nguyen. Luke Park, and Vivian Tian. Congratulations to all of our AP Scholars. We are so incredibly proud of you. Thank you for joining us tonight and a hearty congratulations to all of our students. We look forward to seeing everyone back on campus in the fall.